A nut is a type of fastener with a threaded hole. Nuts are almost always used opposite a mating bolt to fasten a stack of parts together. The two partners are kept together by a combination of their threads friction, a slight stretch of the bolt, and compression of the parts. In applications where vibration or rotation may work a nut loose, various locking mechanisms may be employed, adhesives, safety pins or lock wire, nylon inserts, or slightly oval shaped threads. The most common shape is hexagonal, for similar reasons as the bolt head, six sides give a good granularity of angles for a tool to approach from, but more corners would be vulnerable to being rounded off. Other specialized shapes exist for certain needs, such as wing nuts for finger adjustment and captive nuts for inaccessible areas. Nuts are graded with strength ratings compatible with their respective bolts. For example, an ISO Property Class 10 nut will be able to support the bolt proof strength load of an ISO Property Class 10.9 bolt without stripping. Likewise, an SA Class 5 nut can support the proof load of an SA Class 5 bolt, and so on. A wide variety of nuts exists, from household hardware versions to specialized industry specific designs that are engineered to meet various technical standards. Types Acorn nut, barrel nut, cage nut, clip on nut, coupling nut, cross dowel, flange nut, insert nut, sex bolt, slotted nut, split nut, sleeve nut, square nut, staked welded nut, swage nut, T nut. T slot nut nut, weld nut, well nut, wing nut, lock nuts, castellated nut, distorted thread lock nut, center lock nut, elliptical offset lock nut, top lock nut, interfering thread nut, tapered thread nut, jam nut, jet nut, keps nut with a star type lock washer, nylock plate nut, polymer insert nut, serrated face nut, serrated flange nut, speed nut. Split beam nut, standard metric hex nut sizes. Note that flat sizes differ from industry standards. For example, wrench sizes of fastener used in Japanese built cars comply with JIS automotive standard. Standard SA hex nut sizes, classifications, manufacture. Use of two nuts to prevent self loosening, in normal use. A nut and bolt joint holds together because the bolt is under a constant tensile stress called the preload. The preload pulls the nut threads against the bolt threads, and the nut face against the bearing surface, with a constant force, so that the nut cannot rotate without overcoming the friction between these surfaces. If the joint is subjected to vibration, however, the preload increases and decreases with each cycle of movement. If the minimum preload during the vibration cycle is not enough to hold the nut firmly in contact with the bolt and the bearing surface, then the nut is likely to become loose. Specialized locking nuts exist to prevent this problem, but sometimes it is sufficient to add a second nut. For this technique to be reliable, each nut must be tightened to the correct torque. The inner nut is tightened to about a quarter to a half of the torque of the outer nut. It is then held in place by a wrench while the outer nut is tightened on top using the full torque. This arrangement causes the two nuts to push on each other, creating a tensile stress in the short section of the bolt that lies between them. Even when the main joint is vibrated, the stress between the two nuts remains constant, thus holding the nut threads in constant contact with the bolt threads and preventing self-loosening. When the joint is assembled correctly, the outer nut bears the full tension of the joint. The inner nut functions merely to add a small additional force to the outer nut and does not need to be as strong, so a thin nut can be used. See also References Bibliography, Bickford, John H. NASA, Syed, Handbook of Bolts and Bolted Joints, CRC Press, ISBN A978-0-8247 9977-9A. External links, boltpot.com.